Hey guys, to continue my series on building a YouTube channel, here's some YouTube tips for beginners. Now, today specifically, I'm going to look at websites that you might use to grow your YouTube channel. So, let's start with Google Trends. You see, sometimes you don't know what to do a video on. So, you would come to Google Trends and just see what's trending at the moment. Now, this is what people are looking for on the internet right now. As you can see, CES 2019 was peaking and now it's not. But the NFL playoffs are just getting started. We can see some recently trending searches on Google. And typically searches on Google also translate to YouTube. So you might be able to make a video on a trending topic and get some instant viral hits. Know anything about Dragon Ball Super? Well. 50,000 people are looking for it right now. So the way that you use Google Trends is that you just type in something you think might be trending right now. And you're wrong. It was trending about a year ago and not so much now. So then you can go ahead and compare something that you also think is trending and all of a sudden you realize that slime is actually still trending really highly and fidget spinners is dead. So that would give you an indication of the type of video that you could make. So once you've worked out what you actually want to do, uh, you could use a tool like Social Blade to go and find your competitors' websites and find out what they're doing. Now you easily just type in their username and then you go ahead and select their channel. Then you'll be presented with some interesting stats. So like the amount of uploads they've done, subscribers, the video views, what type of channel they are, and when they created the channel. It also gives you a status on what their grade is, and even their last video they published. It also gives you some estimate monthly earnings, but I wouldn't rely on this too much, because they are usually wrong. So, on most days I think that my channel is a dead channel, but if we have a look at the monthly views, it actually has been growing. And although it's sort of stabilized now, at least it's not going down. So go ahead and use Social Blade to scope out some of your competitors and find out how they're going. Even this A plus YouTube channel, Ryan Toys Review, you would think is doing great. But when you go and have a look at their monthly views, you see over time that they're actually starting to fall away. The other thing you can do with Social Blade is hit compare and compare two different channels. So you can see which one is actually trending the best. And they started at about the same time, but this second channel is on track to overtake them sometime this year. Now you can also use a tool like vidIQ to help you scope out videos and some stats about them. And more importantly, where they're getting their views from. And you can also use a tool like TubeBuddy, which does a similar sort of thing. Once you've created your channel, and you're moving along quite nicely, but you want to make more money than just a few YouTube ads, well, you want to go ahead and find your social blue book value. Now, this particular tool will actually tell you how much your channel is worth for brand sponsorship. Another place I use to grab some sponsorship deals is called DealSpotter. Now, they're pretty low-key sponsors, but as a new YouTuber, you might actually find something in here you can actually advertise to your audience. And of course, you're going to make money along the way. Sometimes it's a free product, and sometimes you get a free product plus an actual amount for the video. And as you can see, there's literally hundreds of sponsor deals on DealSpotter. I'll put the DealSpotter link down below, so go and check them out. Uh, it might be a way for you to create a few extra dollars while your AdSense revenue is ramping up. So you'll also want to grab some decent royalty-free music. But one of the places you might not know is actually through the Creator Studio. Under Create and Audio Library, there's literally hundreds of free music you can use without risk of getting a copyright strike. Just go ahead and click on Attribution and hit the Attribution Not Required. And these are literally all the songs you can use in your YouTube videos for free. Now, if you don't like this type of music, you could go ahead and use a site like artlist.io. Now, I recommend artlist.io because not only do they have pretty cool songs, their pricing structure is actually pretty good. Now, if you're a full-time YouTuber and you need background music for your videos, you'll need to make sure that they're royalty-free. 
Now, this usually does come out of the price. $16.60 a month actually isn't too bad for Artlist.io because as the license says, it's unlimited downloads and you can use it for any of your projects. So you could actually download a song from Artlist.io, use it on your YouTube channel, and also then go ahead and put it on your Twitch channel or even on Facebook or any other platform you like. Now, in comparison, you may have heard of Epidemic Sound. Their music for content creators starts at $15. But the only problem with Epidemic Sound is that that $15 is only for one channel. And it's actually up to a certain amount of views as well. So when you become a little bit popular, you have to pay more money. So it's definitely worth checking out Artlist.io first before you subscribe to any other royalty-free channel. Now, when you're building a YouTube channel, you're essentially building a community. Now, that community doesn't need to come from just YouTube. You could use a site like Newgrounds to build another community off of YouTube. So on Newgrounds, you can share videos you've created, games you've made, music you've composed, or even art that you've made. Then you could use this platform to push people back to your YouTube channel. Of course, the place where you really want to be is Reddit. Because if you can get yourself onto the front page of Reddit and someone shares one of your videos, well, it's an instant viral success. But it does take a little bit of time to work into the Reddit community. So you could go ahead and get started now. And maybe one day you'll get on the front page and turn your ordinary video into a viral one. So there are my top YouTube tips for beginners. And here's a bonus website. It's called TubeFilter. It just keeps you in touch on what's happening specifically on YouTube. So that's all the YouTube tips I have today. Don't forget to check out my other YouTube tip videos. And please like and subscribe because it helps me to grow my channel. Anyway, until next time, it's bye for now.